Hi everybody, quick intro today just to say that I might be AWOL for a week or two, so not so much content. Um, Knights of the Dead has started in EverQuest 2, so I'll be playing that um, along with Starfield, so not quite so many videos as usual. And yes, I know I've got two different eyeshadows on. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'll see you soon. On with the video. Hi everybody for my beautiful day in Skyrim. Today we're looking at Hendraheim Redone. It's the collector's edition by Moogie. So this is the vanilla home that you get with AE. It was part of the Creation Club. I dread to think how many credits it cost because honestly, I wouldn't have parted with my money <laughs> for this. I really wouldn't. It's uh, it's a vanilla home. And, um, you know, I, I, after AE came out, I did videos on all of the homes that were released with it, the X Creation Club content, and honestly, not one of them was a patch on many many modded homes that i've seen but horses for courses uh, no no judgment if you spent your money on this place and you love it that's fantastic i'm happy for you this however has been overhauled somewhat it looks cleaner tidier there are uh, new things like if you've been out in the world and discovered the stones they will appear here the shrines over here basic structure is the same it all the sexy stuff is happening in the basement which we will get to and the storage is named as you see so you know the follower beds that, that were put in by what was it called was it called Hendra Hall the other mod that I saw it had put a couple of uh, follower beds out here, which were very useful because the, the home doesn't come with them. There's your oven, bar, more bookshelves. And through here was your bedroom. Wow, that is a gorgeous looking thing. Look at that, how pretty. Okay, which one would I like to configure? So you can configure your storage. I don't really want to do any of that, but it's there for you if you want it. That's really useful. So there's your bed, and this is two children's beds. So yeah, nothing for followers now, um, or ever for that matter. Auto storage though, how cool is that with this mod? Face changing mirror right there. And then let's get down to the basement and have a look and see what's happened down there because it's a, it's a whole new world, let me tell you. All right, so here you've got Forge and all of your smithing equipment and again storage handy I think it was just a blacksmith forge and then you've got two doors one that will take you into the anniversary display and the other which will take you into just a you know general Skyrim let's have a look at this one first so um, there's only two things really that kind of didn't didn't flow that well for me the first is the font that's been used i hate it <laughs> it's like bringing my office into my video game i don't like it at all but that's just probably just me i mean there is a skyrim font out there i found one years ago on um oh, da font i think it was called dark skyrim or something like that i used to use it all the time when i did um when I used to put the name of the house that I was in on the bottom left of the screen back in my old videos. Uh, so yeah, I would I would love for that to be changed, but check it out. I mean, this is absolutely bonkers, right? I haven't played an AE playthrough yet. So a lot of this stuff is like, what? <laughs> oh, I think I might even have one of those. Oh no, I don't. <laughs> Shut up, Darkstar, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, oh well uh yeah i mean that is it's it's insane and really nicely done i like it a lot actually saints and seducers shadow rend i mean all of these things came with the anniversary edition oh the saturalia holiday pack i actually i got that for free years ago when they bought it out it was like uh I don't know, was it 100 credits or something? Oh man, I haven't obviously been to pick it up in this playthrough. 
but it's uh, it, that was very nice. Off colour wheat. <laughs> oh man, I've got none of this stuff. Dark Star, you're very disappointing. I feel like some of these things might be really nice. Autumn Visage Crown of Spring, that sounds lovely. Hmm, okay, maybe I should start a new playthrough, but it's so difficult right now with Starfield taking up a massive amount of my time and nipping back into EQ2 to play, um, which I do do intermittently. Never lets you go, they don't call it ever crack for nothing. So, there is another floor here too, but it's more of the same. Nicely done. Love the architecture. And I feel that this is uh, giving Legacy of the Dragonborn a run for their money. Nespa? Fishing maps, for heaven's sake. Wow. Okay, so that's all the Anniversary Edition area. And then on the other side... <laughs> Uh, the it's general the special edition side, I guess you'd call it. Look how nice. I love the dragon in the background there. Still hate the font. But yeah, these are all the things that you would normally come across in your everyday game. And the other thing, this is nice with the banners there. But some of them start to get distorted. Um, which you'll notice as we go around. This is bonkers, isn't it? But how fab. I like this a lot. Oh, wow. I also like the, the structure materials. Yeah, if we go in here, for example, see how this has been? It's just too much, isn't it? That one's not too bad, but that... It's kind of stretched and weird. I've seen that happen before in other homes. Um, it's no big deal. Check it out. If you are a collector, you might just absolutely freak out about this place, especially as I'm not aware of there being anywhere that has storage for all of the um, anniversary edition stuff as well. If, unlike me, you can get past that font. <laughs> and then down here. Check it out. That is so cool and creepy and fab. Vampire hunters or something. And I love that this mod author clearly does have a sense of humour. It shines through actually in his work, which is terrific for me. I enjoy that. All right, well, it's a big place. My God, can you imagine what this would actually look like if it was full of all of the treasures? I don't even know. That's nice. See, a font like that would have been cool. <laughs> I'm gonna stop banging on about it because I'm boring myself, so uh, yeah, I apologize. All right, well, I think that covers just about all of the main features, as you see, all of the exciting stuff is down here. Um, but, you know, upstairs is all right. And that is uh, just, yeah, the way it came, as it were. All right, I'll leave you with that view. Call that at the end of this video. Say thanks so much for watching. Do let me know what you think about this one. I'm dying to hear your comments. Um, you may absolutely blow me out of the water and say, shut up, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but you will see. I'll, I'd love to know. Okay, take care. Stay safe. Speak to you soon.